Okay, so uh, in this lesson, we will take a look at how to open our native settings. Uh, we know that we have several sections in the settings, uh, device settings. We have uh, um, where we can view the about, uh, accessibility, Bluetooth settings, display settings, and others. So what if we want the user to, well, go to that particular setting right away in our from our device and do some changes and come back and continue using the app because it depends on that certain we can easily do that so um to add the to add that feature we have to add the plugin the cordova plugin and then we add the uh unique native wrapper all right okay so to do that let's uh Add the Ionic Native Ionic the Cordova plugin Cordova and the Cordova plugin add yeah and then we will add the uh, Ionic uh, Native wrapper so npm install um, Ionic native uh, what is the name of our uh, it's called open native settings so we add it open native settings yeah then we will save it okay so Our Cordova plugin has been added. Let's check with the uh, the uh, Ionic Native Wrapper 2 has been added. So let's import it into our module. Import Ionic Native Open Native. Settings. We are going to add it to our providers before we can use it. So here is it. Then let's go into our um, home page class and import it here and inject it into our constructor. So I think that's it. And uh, so inject it to our Constructor here, pin. So open native settings. So now I'm going to implement uh, several buttons to open different parts of the settings. Um, so button open. Um, let's see. Let's see the ones available. So let's say open um gonna do couple of gonna do open display we're gonna do open sound open storage to so open display let's add the ion button <coughs> full and then a click event Open click open we're gonna pass in the setting to display here okay so we're gonna do the same for the others let's do five so do open display let's do open Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's do open date. And then we will do open uh, keyboard. Yeah. So open, open date, open keyboard. So let's uh, change it here. Then it's okay. Have 
two more to up. Let's uh, do uh, open. Um, it's quite tricky. Let's do accounts and let's do about. So accounts and about. So open about and open count. Okay. So let's implement the open function. So the open now accept is certain. It's going to be a string, and uh, we're going to use the open native settings to open it. And we're going to pass in the certain. And it's a it's a promise. So we're going to uh, provide a function when it's uh, when it works. So we say let's select the certain that was opened, and when there is an error, catch. We want to alert the error using json.stringify to pass it and get something nice so that is it let's run it and like call over run android to see the results okay so we have it here so let's now open it so open yeah, it opened the display setting for us. Let's go back. So let's display. Let's open the date setting. Date setting was opened. Dates. Let's open the keyboard setting. Keyboard setting open successfully. Let's open the account setting. Account setting open. That's great. And let's open the about the phone status about the phone. So that is it. So that's how to use the open native settings plugin to open the various settings on the device.